Oh, we've seen a trace of it today because some people were arrested with fake army uniforms. They came with 18 AK 47 and they were arrested. But unfortunately, as I'm speaking right now, as those people were arrested, the QRS person, through the order of the Commissioner of Police, were asking that those people should all be let go. And before this time, fortunately, some of our guys were able to capture this thing with their phones. So we have pictures of the fake army uniforms those people were wearing. We are going to play for the whole world to see. The 18 AK 47 recovered by the police. Police have allowed them to take them all back. This is the same war saw that was pronounced. The IG of police have been, we've reported this thing to the highest order. We've reported this to the presidency, to all the arms of the security agencies. And nobody has taken steps to address it. So they are leaving Aquarium people to defend themselves. Meanwhile, they are using our own oil money to maintain security. All of just recently, the SS Kruda camp that was kept for our own people had been used to acquire military weapons. We didn't know those weapons were used to come and intimidate our own people. So we've called on all the powers that be. We've called on the international community that this is a war that has been declared. I've never heard where Nigerian police is a partisan ship. This is the first time where the entire police structure is belonging to a particular political party. But since we don't have the police, we don't have anything except God that we have and our people. We want to let the whole world know that whatever happens in this state is caused by the police, not any other arm of the agency, but the police force. With the people that the court has actually declared as illegal occupants of that city. And today he led them into the place with talks. And we're calling on all that let the police force be called to order. They should go and defend Nigerian territories where need be. They were meant to maintain peace and order, internal peace and order, not to cause chaos in someone's state. And if they are playing politics this way, there's no hope for democracy in this country. And this is in line with the plan. We have their script that, number one, they want to cause mayhem in the state so that election will not be held. The same day general election will be called. But we are trying to tell them if election is not held on that week, we can hold election on that same day. They should forget election here. Either you hold election the same day everybody is uh, forget about elections here. Elections must be held the same day. That is what they are trying to perpetrate here now. And you need to see they've been charged a lot of our people, they've destroyed people's houses, and police are supervising them to do this. Which country has this have ever happened? And we've reported this, they tend to ignore. I've called the IG police oppressions. Who's supposed to call this into order? He promised me he was going to call this to order. Nothing has been done. We've tried to reach IG of police this morning. He has rebuffed us. Why should this happen in a country that has constitution, this law, and everybody here is a citizen? Nobody was brought into Nigeria. Nobody here is an alien. So we are warning the whole country now that a private state is under siege by the police, not by any other person. Because we have all our people here. And we have very peace-loving people. But our peace is being threatened by the police force. Let the commissioner that they just posted last weekend, who is coming to perpetrate this, let's assume he has finished his course. He has achieved his own mission. I want to call on the police force. This evening, the police commissioner of this state must be withdrawn. He has to leave this evening. He must be withdrawn. The head of the QRS must be withdrawn. So that we can maintain peace. And let them also sound a note of warning that those who have governed the state and left, they should stay in Abuja. The state, we have a population of 6.2 million people. We will not take this as a people. We gave you opportunity, you govern, you are calling on war, meanwhile you kept your children abroad and calling on war. Which children do you want to kill? In which state? <coughs> we stand for peace and we shall ever remain peace and law abiding citizens of this country. We believe the constitution will take its course. And we are also calling on the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Please, we are all citizens of this country. And that the President should take necessary action to forestall this because we see this sign. And we have actually been sounding this warning. We've noted this everywhere, but it seems to be ignored. Today it has played out. I want to believe 
my people will be protected by the constitution and by the law of this country. And we also want to believe that the president will do everything humanly possible to save lives and property here. And call those who were calling for war so that this is war so that will see war. Let them report to Abuja. Go and fight war, or they should be sent to where Boko Haram are fighting. Let them go and contest Boko Haram. And fight them is not war so. Whoever is calling for this, let him go there and fight. There is Boko Haram threatening the, 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 this country. So you should go there and do it. We say no to this intimidation by the police. We say no to this thing by the police. We believe we'll be supported by the foreign nations, we'll be supported by all Nigerians, we'll be supported by all and sundry who love peace and who remain law abiding in this country. God bless Nigeria. God bless the power of self. Yes, my great people, I disagree with this. God can never bless what he did not put together. God can never bless anything that he never created. God can never bless it. Now, great people, freedom fighters, lovers of freedom are great people all over the world. You are welcome once again on IPOB Rapture Media under the leadership of Mazin Namdekano, where we always set the record straight. I still remain Mazo Kenina Okechuku, known as the PR franchise in Wanchineke, the general. Now you understand the point. I hope you get the point. Like I always tell my people, in every sentence, there is a key point. That is something that you, you must always try to grab the key point. Now you understand. I hope you get the point. Okay? But let us go in details. Because I want our people to understand every single thing that this man said. This is a governor of Akwa Ibom. Governor Udom. Governor Udom is lamenting. Now you begin to understand that everybody is feeling the heat. Now do you begin to understand that those people that you are seeing, they are not soldiers. They are foot soldiers. They are full army foot soldiers. They are coming to kill, to maim, to destroy, at the same time, take over your land. That is what they call conquest. Of course, some of you will say it's old video. That is the reason why, and that is the problem of our people. They don't. They cannot even absorb. They cannot even plan for a long term. That is why you see today, Fulani that are coming from Senegambia, Chad, Nigeria are suppressing every indigenous people that find themselves in that contraption because these people have been planning this thing for long time ago very very long time ago they cool down and settle and begin to plan way to take over your land planning the conquest just little by little and they have already getting there in 2022 that is the way the thing will start and they have already started now you begin to understand it are you believing what I'm saying? I'm not the one that's saying it now. This is governor. A sitting governor is telling you that just see what he said. Okay? Because we have to understand it. Now pay attention to this news in details according to what this man said from his mouth. Not me. Before you start begin to lay cause on, 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 upon yourself. Not me. But pay attention to this. If you don't know, you go back to the beginning of this video and then you listen very attentively and you will understand every single thing that come out from his mouth. He said that they arrested some terrorist militia, full and terrorist militia. And like I have told my people, they should stop calling these people bandits because they are not bandits. They are terrorists. So they arrested some Fulani militia terrorists. And they hand these people over to police. And they, when they arrested these people, they arrest them with AK-47. They arrest them with AK-47 rifles. Not only one. They arrest them. And they hand them over to police. 
Do you know that police release these people and give them back their AK-47? <laughs> now you begin to understand. Remember they came to you all, those of you in South, they came to you and tell you to submit your guns. A lot of you sheepishly go and submitted your gun. And full and need a court with AK-47 rifle. They arrest them, give them to police. Police release them immediately and give them back their gun. Now you begin to understand. Who owns Nigeria? Fulanis. I will keep on ringing it as a bell to you people's ear. Till it sink into your Oblanganda. Till it sink before I will stop. Because some of our people, they don't even understand. They don't even think at all. They think all this that I'm saying is a joke. Now pay attention again. Another one. He is the one that said it. The governor Udon of Akwa Ibon. He is the one that's saying this, not me. He said again that they arrested some persons with fake army uniform carrying 18 AK-47 rifle. Now you begin to understand. <laughs> and do you know what happened? And they handed over these people also, people with a fake uniform. Now you begin to understand that all these people you are seeing, they are not soldiers. They are full and foot soldiers. They are full and foot soldiers putting uniform. They are Wahhabism, slag jihadists, foot soldiers. They are coming with conquest. That is what they call holy war. That is their plan. They will give them army uniform. You begin to see them like army uniform. You don't know they are coming with conquest. Not me said it. Governor Udom of Akwaibo said they arrested some persons with fake army uniform carrying 18 AK-47 rifle. They hand them over to police and police just a call. They release all these people and give them back their uniform and they give them back the 18 AK-47 rifle they collected from them. They give them back their AK-47. <laughs> now you begin to understand what I'm saying. These people, they are foot soldiers. They are Islamist Wahhabism slash jihadist terrorists. They are coming with ethnic cleansing. They are coming with conquest called holy war. Now you begin to understand what I'm saying. Make sure this video get to people. This one again is not an individual. This now is a sitting governor telling you what is passing through in his place that is governed. In Akwaibon. And the man said, again, that one shocks me so high. It struck me, it shocked me very well. He said that Akwaibon people will defend themselves. That is, there is no police in Akwaibo. Also, the same time, there is no army. All of them, they are foot soldiers. Now you begin to understand. I want you people to understand that I will keep on lamenting. I will keep on telling our people what it is. Because some of our people, they are daft. They couldn't even understand. Those killings happening every day in, in, in that contraption called Damini Buzu, they always see it as something that is it's normal. It's not normal. In Europe, it's not normal. To kill fellow human beings is not normal. For these people to begin to put uniform, why they are not army or military, they are fake army. He called they are fake army, fake army uniform. They put fake army uniform. Not that the army uniform is fake. That means that these people, they are not army. They cannot even identify who they are or their division. That makes them fake. They just carry uniform, give to these people. They put uniform and begin to parade themselves. Killing and maiming, adopting at the same time. You see them, they begin to galavant, think that they are, you think that these people are, are soldiers or army. That is why we keep on telling you that Nigerian military, they are terrorists. I am not the one that said it to Akwaibon governor, governor Udon said, they put fake army uniform with 18 AK-47 rifle. They hand them over to police with just a call. They release all of them and give them back their 18 rifles, AK-47 rifle. They give them back with the uniform. They just go back and case close. Now you begin to... Doctor, uh, B, uh, what is them? Governor of Akwaibon, Governor Udon is lamenting. Now you understand.
Good day and welcome.